kids, it's Ashley again. Thanks for joining me for the second week of Nehemiah. Today's big idea is God gives you a mission. Let's play our game, worship, and then we'll continue Nehemiah's story. Let's play pick one. Go to the side you pick. TV or movie. Hot or cold? Car or motorbike? Jump rope or hopscotch? Milk or juice? Silver or bronze? Birds or giraffes? Firefighters or policemen? Chocolate or vanilla? Gold or purple? Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing the game with me. Now it's time for praise and worship. Stand up and let's go.
Now we're back. Last time, Taylor started you guys off in the book of Nehemiah. We learned that Nehemiah was concerned about God's reputation. Jerusalem was God's city where his people lived. It was in ruins and Nehemiah wanted to do something about it. We are going to begin our study in Nehemiah 3. Sometimes we want to skip over chapters like Nehemiah 3. If we did, we would miss the truth that God recorded those who worked in rebuilding the wall. Several different groups did their part in rebuilding the ruined walls of Jerusalem. Even those who didn't want to help were recorded. Some people may skip over Nehemiah because they don't see how studying the details of rebuilding the wall are meaningful to our lives today. What you and I are going to do in our lesson today is discover how every believer has a work to do. Ephesians 2 and 10 tells us, For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Believers daily walk with Jesus to fulfill God's purpose. In Philippians 2 and 12, we read, Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Believers build their faith when they pray and when they hear God's word and obey. We see this in James 1 and 22. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourself. Do what it says. When each group works together, building their section of the wall, it is similar to how each believer works together to help build up the body of Christ. The church is made up of all believers. Using the gifts and abilities believers have been given, strengthen and build up the church. Ephesians 4 and 2 says, God gave us our gifts to equip his people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up. Today, I want to encourage you to use the gifts and abilities God has given you to help others. Thank you for joining me, and I can't wait to see you next week as we continue through Jeremiah. And remember, God has given you a mission. Goodbye.